I'm back. Just had a neighbor come by asking me to pick them up something. So under here I have this little cupboard and it wasn't really a useful space because it's very angled with the contour of the hull. So you can't really put things down at the bottom. It just kind of pinches off to a narrow spot. So I guess you could put a, a, some things there, but uh, what I've done is I just got a little tote and I just screw put a couple screws right through to the bulkhead and then to the the other little wall on this side that's these don't go to the hull or anything but uh, it just makes a little basket here this is our swim gear so when my kids are here uh, I have their swimsuits here all the time and just a neat little way to make a shelf if you have a space like that and I could still put some like runners or something under there if I wanted So coming back out of the V-berth, um, we're going to take a look at the head. So it's nice all the doors in here, they've all got vented slats so you still get some air getting into the head. And in here I've got my opening hatch which is really nice to have, especially when you're using hot water in here. A nice big counter space and sink. I have hot and cold pressurized water, which is really nice. Lots of storage. I bought these little baskets. They just help keep things a little more organized. So even if you're sailing, you just you're not gonna, it's not going to be a giant mess in there. They'll, everything will stay in its basket. And then same on this side, just more storage. here I keep sort of cleaning supplies and extra toilet paper and here is just oops more cleaning type stuff there's a plug outlet here for AC and when I shower the water goes under the grate there's a void space under there and there's a little sump pump in the corner so I just flick on this switch here and it just sucks all the water out and one shower it won't even come up to the grate I, I don't have to have that pump running while I shower I just do it after and then nice big mirror I had nowhere to hang a towel in here so I just went to a hardware store and just bought this little towel rack just for hand towels and then to hang my other towel if it's in the summer and once it's dry I just bought a little sticky hook this thing's on there I don't even think I could get it off now with the 3M tape just to hang it and get it out of the way once it's dried now we'll come back into the main cabin so I've got the bulkhead on the starboard side and I've got a nice deep bookshelf so I have a tiny little library and I have this smaller shelf underneath which is good just for a few random items and I have a couple little speakers I use for when I'm watching the television the TV has its own speakers obviously but these little ones actually are quite nice and they make a uh, deliver a nice sound I have the television which is on a mount which is really nice because I can pull this TV out and swing it different directions put it away once and when it's away you can still use most of that cushion you'd see in my original boat tour video uh, this was all on a basket it was a little television and it sat on a wicker basket and I had to put it away each time I went sailing and now I don't have to do anything, I just unplug the cable vision from the dock. I also cleaned up all the wiring by drilling a hole through this uh, enclosed cupboard up top and through the shelf so all the wiring goes in behind and my Wi-Fi box and everything's in this nice little basket. So up here my son has his PlayStation so I keep all his cords and controllers up there for him 
when he's not here. And I have a nice, there's an AC plug there. So you can see there's all like some of the cables and stuff. So it's kind of a little, it's not messy, but it keeps everything, that stuff used to all be outside. And a nice big shelf on this side, like on the other side. So I have more of these brown little baskets. Just for random cookies and snacks and things like that that I might grab. In this cupboard, I have some spices and uh, my reusable grocery bags. In this side, I keep most of my food that's not canned, uh, like bagged stuff. I don't keep a lot of food on the boat because it's so easy just to go get more on the way home from work. And also in behind the starboard settees there's storage. I have some more tools. Here I have first aid stuff, extra lights. I have a little, uh, in that Tupperware thing I have some some of that material you can light easily. If I ever ended up stranded somewhere on a beach, I could start a fire easily with it. With it. It's a, like a survival type ignition stuff. Under here, there's another storage area. I have some all my spare parts and all under this thing here. Uh, spare belts, things, all stuff mostly related to the engine. I have a couple extension cords in there. <clears throat> and under this area, this used to be storage, but at some point, someone put a second fresh water tank in the boat, which is actually really nice to have. So I can just look at it here, and you can actually see the water line. So I'm about halfway down, and these tanks are plumbed into each other, so they'll drain equally as I use the water. I don't have it won't be draining all from one side and then over to the other. It'll it balances it out. Uh, now my table, I'll just do a quick little demonstration of how the table works. But before I do that, I have storage in here, so usually just water and there's a bottle of rum I've never opened. Uh, card games and dominoes. Just some easy access stuff. So that's how the table works. And we'll move over to the galley. So I have a nice stainless steel three burner stove. Has an oven. The oven works really well. I have this little piece of uh, wood on top so I have more counter space. And when I want to use the stove, just pull that off and there's the three burners. The stove is on a gimbal, so what that means is I can be sailing and the stove will move. So I just put that down and now the whole stove will rock. So it'll always stay level even when the boat is sailing and heeled over. I have some more storage in behind here. Paper towels and some big strainers and things like that under there. Cutting boards and plates. Just a regular cutlery organizer that you would use in any house. And my bowls. Some pots. Saran wraps and some other cups. And I'm lucky I've got a few extra drawers. So just some few, a few various things, some smaller plates and cups. 
and this is my ice box. So the boat is actually plumbed and wired in for refrigeration. Here's the, the thermostat controller. Um, but right, but the compressor went before I bought the boat. So I've, I just use it when I'm cruising. I just put ice in the bottom. It has a little drain down there so the water can be sucked out as the ice melts. And there's a big shelf here. It's quite large in there, but I'm going to actually get a new compressor and get that working again. More storage back in behind the sink. And here's one more of those LED lights with the red light ability. And again, hot and cold pressurized water. And this uh, tap here, it comes from my fresh water tanks. And all you have to do is just push on this foot pump, and the water comes out. Under here is just usually where I keep my uh, garbage. It just hangs off that little pump. This is the pump I use to get the water out of the ice box. But when, as soon as that bag's full, it goes up to the dumpster. And those are just extra bags. And we are back to the quarter berth. I'll show you the engine really quickly. So you just pull the stairs off. It's a 3GM Yanmar, freshwater cooled. Good old engine. It uh, doesn't give me any trouble, except when that water pump belt broke this August. But that was an easy fix, and that's why I carry extra belts. So I just have some random uh, items like coolant and oil and fuel stabilizer, things like that in there. The stairs just go back on easy. I keep my little space heater under the stairs, so it's, I ne I'm never tripping over it. And that is it. That's about all the space I have and all the space I need. Oh, and for the refrigeration, uh, because it's not working right now, I just bought this cooler and it just plugs into AC and it's uh, actually an ice box. So I just have it outside because I have the full enclosure. I'm not worried about it getting wet. And it's a nice big space up there that's dry and it's actually like a bit of a sunroom and it extends the living space quite a bit. So I can keep my shoes out there and nothing gets wet. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour and it's it was a little more in depth than my first uh, boat tour I gave. <laughs>